Just wanted to introduce everybody here to Aaron and Dustin. Y'all just waved everybody. Yeah. Well, hey everybody, Bassmaster Classic 2024. Here we go. Well guys, we will Turtle Tackle here live from the Bassmaster Classic 2024 out of Tulsa, Oklahoma. Tonight we're going to do something a little bit different. I'm going to take you on a little bit of an immersive view of what it's like to be back in the media room during such an event like the Bassmaster Classic. We're also going to try to catch a couple of interviews along the way and who knows, we may pick up on the leader. Let's do it. Okay, everyone, here with none other than Mr. Bass Blaster himself, Jay Kumar, here at the Media Center 2024 Bassmaster Classic, here hosted by Tulsa, going out of uh, Grand Lake of the Cherokees. So, what's a typical day like for you out here? A typical day at the Bassmaster Classic is crazy busy for everybody here, the media thing. We all got our own gigs. For me, it's getting up early, having probably a meeting or two, heading to the show, saying hi to all these people in the booth, looking for new bass fishing stuff, meeting people for the first time, and then we end up back here in the media booth or the media area where we're interviewing literally every guy that comes through that's fishing the Bassmaster class. But man, is it worth it. Like, if you've never been to a classic, I've always said it's like the greatest free show on earth you should go to. You guys know him, Tyler Williams, friend of the show. So, walk me through it. How did it work out for you out there today? It, it was kind of a grind, but in the end result, it was pretty good, <laughs> to be honest with you. Got you, what, 16 and change? Is that where you yeah, landed at? Almost 16 and a half. Where do you think at the end of the day it's going to end up putting you? You had to guess. Right. Eighth to tenth, maybe? Enough uh -huh. to get a camera tomorrow. <laughs> Enough to keep you in the hunt, right? Yeah, didn't lose it on day one, that's for sure. So, I was hearing you talking with the other gentlemen, so. So the hype wasn't the hype wasn't getting through, huh? Just stone cold. Uh, for some reason, I don't know. Pressure doesn't get to me. I don't know if it's that I just don't care enough, or what it is. <laughs> Maybe it's just that you're enjoying the experience that much, right? Just yeah, let it all so soak in. I don't know. So, um, you think your plan today's got enough to carry you through what you got to do tomorrow? Then to still stay in there? I don't know. I don't really know what I'm doing out there. I'm just kind of fishing around. And, stumble upon one here and there it could be zero or it could be 20 pounds <laughs> so you're going out there and you're just fishing yeah you know I'm what fishing mm -hmm. my style but i'm fishing no other than the stetson blaylock so stetson how'd it go out there for you today it was okay uh had one big bite and then some small fish to go with it probably sitting somewhere just just north of mid-pack so but a good weight compared to you know what what's going to be leading and what's going to be in the top 10 so um they dropped the water, areas cleared up, so the whole lake kind of changed from our last day of practice. So definitely gonna have to make some adjustments to, to get back in it. So as far as that game plan for tomorrow, I'm sure your mind's already oh yeah already spinning, already Absolutely. getting things lined up. Absolutely, yeah. And, and, I, and I'm staying out at the lake, so I've got an hour drive to think about it and kind of get a game plan, you know, dialed in to what I want to try to do. Change some areas, change some tactics in those areas, and hopefully we can make it work. You know, being around everybody, you know everybody's styles, what their strengths and weaknesses are. Mm -hmm. As far as the folks ahead of the pack on you, 
Does your mind ever go to a place of strategy where you think you can zig where they zag and try to snap off a few other fish? No, I think it's more about just getting in what you're comfortable with. You know, I mean, it's hard to catch. I say it's hard to catch other guys' fish. The whole lake's everyone, so it ain't like you're going to catch somebody else's fish. But definitely we'll change some areas and, and try to locate some better quality. I mean, that's what it boils down to. I had one of the right quality, but then I didn't have anything else to go with it. If I could have stuck with that and caught some more of those big ones, then I'd feel really good about it. All right, just finished up day one here at the Bassmaster Classic. Had a good day with 15 pounds and uh, need to back that up tomorrow. Uh, we'll see what happens. I only caught six keepers today, so it wasn't easy by any means. But uh, hopefully I can figure something out tomorrow and maybe uh, jump up to 17, 18 pounds. It'll be really nice. I guess when you have six, it's the right six to have, right? They, they were the right bites for sure. I, I only lost one and uh, I, I wasn't fishing for little ones today. Um, but if I want to have a shot at winning this thing, I'm probably going to have to get up to 18, 19 pounds tomorrow. And... Uh, be within striking distance on day three. So right now it's kind of a stalking plan, hanging in yeah, here, hunting today, down. Yeah, needs to be my lowest day of the day, all three days, if I want to have a shot at winning this thing. Here with Justin Hamner backstage here in the Media Center 2024 Bassmaster Classic. So, I was watching the leaderboard throughout the day. It looked like you were doing a little something, something. Tell me about how it went out there for you today. Oh man, it went, it went good. I ain't gonna lie, you know, I had a lot of fun on the water today. Uh, fishing free, fishing how I like to fish, so. I can get back out there and do it again. Getting out there and just fishing. Just relax and That's let the game come to you. Yes, sir. Currently leading, right? You know how they sandbag these weigh-ins. Are there any nerves? I ain't got no nerves right now. <laughs> I'm having too much fun to have any nerves. With the cut line being after tomorrow, you would have to be a travesty, so it looks like there's a good way you're going to bump yourself in. It's the fast match classic. Anything can happen. Yeah, I dang sure ain't worried about cut line. We're going out there to try to win this thing. Now, how cool would it be to have the finish that you did on fork, then come out here to the Bassmaster Classic and take it? How would that feel? Pretty nice. I'll take it. I can promise you that. You think that'd make for a pretty good year? Just just starting it's off, I mean, just been a pretty good year, so. no joke. Anytime you get a century belt on fork, you know sure. it's it's good to go. Absolutely. Well. We wish you the best of luck. We appreciate you. I Thank appreciate you so much it. for your time. Yes, sir. Thank you. Yeah, good luck with the YouTube channel. I'm going to be watching it. Hey, I'm Jay Kumar. I'm a media guy, and uh, I'm here with Cerebral Tackle, and a reminder to get out there and keep it wet.